the unimaginatively named dust removal tool on the Curiosity rover has brushed off dust from hundreds of rocks in the nearly 13 years since it arrived on Mars. But for reasons that still aren't entirely clear, sometimes it acts more like a drill. On this episode of Mars Guy, we last left Curiosity exploring strange landforms that look like giant spider webs. As I suggested in episode 216, it appears that they formed after mineral rich water flowed through large scale crisscrossing fractures, precipitating minerals in small scale veins within the fracture fill, effectively armoring this material. Subsequent erosion left the fracture pattern standing in low relief, as can be seen on the ground. Here's Mars Guy for scale. If the material that originally filled in the crisscrossing fractures became even just a bit more erosionally resistant via secondary mineralization, the material in between the fractures would be removed preferentially. Curiosity has moved on from this location, reaching a spot roughly 200 meters from here after making several stops along the way. The arm was deployed the day after it arrived at this location starting with a dust removal tool, followed by the Molly camera for a close-up color view. A second spot was also brushed and imaged, followed by deployment of the APXS instrument to determine composition. As shown by the Molly image, the brushing operation nicely revealed some whitish veins, probably the sulfate mineral gypsum given the abundance of sulfates recognized from orbital remote sensing observations. Molly also revealed a small hole at the center, which partially straddles the vein. In episode 191, I showed a similar result from another brushing operation. At that time, I suggested that maybe the center post of the DRT was responsible for the hole, which would mean that it was pushed too far into the rock. But several viewers noted that some of the wire bristles of the brush were tangled in a way that made them stick out, which is especially apparent in this current view of the DRT. The circular groove at the bottom of the hole is much easier to explain with tangled wire bristles than with a smooth center post. And as if to make this doubly clear, the second spot that was brushed in this location has a hole with an even more pronounced circular groove. The tangled bristles must be responsible for this. Apparently there's something about the rocks here, their softness, brittleness, or grain size, that leads to not only a hole, but also one with a groove around it. None of the previous 12 dusting operations even produced a hole, including on this recent veined rock that looks notably similar to the veined rock that has a hole so it really takes just the right rock for this to happen, which is still a bit of a mystery. Also a mystery is why, even on the right rock, there's only one hole. I assume that the elongated shape of the dusted patch must come from multiple placements of the DRT, which seems pretty clear in these examples. So how is it that when a hole does form, it's only in the center placement? Maybe some viewers out there have an answer to this little puzzle. Until then, the holes of curiosity will remain a curiosity. <laughs>